All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays, and today we are checking out Insurgency Sandstorm. Uh, it's me and Soldier Pat once again doing some tactical shooter gameplay footage. Uh, let's play stuff. So if you do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it and subscribe as well. That helps me know that hey, you guys are enjoying this content and that I will do my best to create part two. Um, I, me and him have played this a good amount of times. Right now we're in a co-op match, so uh, we've actually been losing a good amount of times here. Oh god! Oh, one sec, one sec. Reload. Oh. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you know this match goes a little bit better. We need to defend this location, and our team's kind of been all over the place. Um, I actually started the video, but then <laughs> we kept dying, so I figured I'd restart. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at. Um, if you do have any questions about it, definitely leave a, leave some comments. Um, let me know. And then also, you know, if you have a specific class that you play as, please let me know. Uh, or any suggested weapons, because it has been quite a while since I played this game. And I'm always um, not really on top of what the meta is for it. Sorry, there's a bunch of mortars going off. Um, yeah, yeah, please, please leave a comment. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, Patty wants to play more Insurgency. Yeah, yeah. If, I mean, hey, if it does well, of course. I mean, honestly, Insurgency is one of those games that we'll probably play anyways, because we do it for our own enjoyment. Um, but it's it's been quite a while. You'll ask me sooner. What? <laughs> yeah. There you are. Yeah, I'm actually gonna spectate. I forgot that I can spectate you. Nice. I'm back in. All right, so we're doing a little bit better this time around. I don't think I, I... I said this earlier, but I don't think I ever played this map before. So this one's new to yeah, me. This is a semi-new map. I barely remember it. I, I must have, like, stopped playing, like, right as it came out or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I see this. the sprinkler is going off in this room. What's the, um... How do you change your selectifier? X. X. Is it? Wait, I can't. Is there a HUD? Oh, it... Yeah, it'll pop up. Maybe it's different. I, I, I fiddle with my controls. It'll pop up in the bottom right. <gasps> oh my god, dude. I... Oh, man. Thanks, Fat. Thanks. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd see it. <laughs> Is that a grenade launcher that you have equipped? Yeah, I'm devilish. Yeah, okay. Alright, where is my damn... Is it H? No. No, that turns on the... That thing. What is selective fire? Right now it's on like full auto, which is fine. V is melee for me. No, B as in bad. B. Maybe this thing doesn't have selective gun is it uh it is i forget the name of it right now it it's auto? whatever the uh advisor's starting weapon was uh oh i'm not familiar with the advisor damn yeah he has some um, some kind of cool weapons there's a, there's a ton of options as the advisor it's like kind of like they in the description it says exotic yeah. weapons what's the um man it has been a while i don't remember any yeah. of these controls <laughs> he binds there's one that like you can taunt and everything too yeah uh, i don't even know the taunt one so cycle fire mode it's a middle mouse button for me uh, uh then i definitely changed it then to uh change the scope when they have two scopes or two sites arms menu team chat gotcha okay yeah when i aim down sites it it's like v to go between the two but it's also v for outside of that for uh melee we're defending right now oh god Coming with a vengeance. Oh, 
There we go. Now I have selective fire. Oh god, this guy. <gasps> oh no, no. Ah, oh, died to a pistol. In a very dangerous game right now. Ha I'm gonna need like a ammo. Oh, never mind. I see it. Nice, we did secure it. Objective secured. Moving out. Roger that, Charlie. Moving Delta. What's um trying to <laughs> trying to remember the stupid thing that they say in Ghost Recon? Shit balls. Shit balls. Shit balls. No bed out. Reload. I'm reload. I keep reloading magazines that aren't even empty yet. But I'm just afraid, man. Moving to Delta. No bad out. Delta's captured. Out. And now we have to defend it. Oh god. Oh, I just destroyed a whole battalion. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Fat grenade launcher. Oh god. I see some up above. Uh oh god. I'm suppressed. Yeah, they have a truck. Oh really? That's them? Yeah, it's a grapple on the road, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I can't I can't even peek. Oh boy. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it, but he's like shooting towards me. Uh they just turned it on. I do see it. Oh, I got, I got the gunner. Bomb. I got the gunner. I got bombed. Woo. Somebody just saved my life. Okay, this time I'm reloading for sure. Secured. Delta secured. No med out. You heard, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I texted to this to you, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it here. Uh, Ubisoft being rumored to sell off the company. Yeah. I have heard that. Um,. I think it would be interesting. You know what I would love to see? I would absolutely. Huh? Game Pass Ubisoft. Yes. I yeah. would love to see Xbox come in and be like, hey, we bought Ubisoft. Because that, I feel like that would be such a win, not only for Game Pass, but also for the developers. Because hopefully they would be like, hey, if you guys don't want to work on like, constantly open world games you can do that if you want to stick that formula feel free but if not feel free to branch out that would be honestly amazing but i don't know if they would do that personally uh and if just because unless so i, I was gonna say is the only thing i wouldn't like seeing is if uh playstation came in but if they kept releasing the games on PC, then it wouldn't really matter. But, um, yeah, that would be amazing though. I'd love to see that. 
Is this another truck? I think so. Um, but yeah, I'd love. Oh, I'd love a uh, Microsoft body. I took him out. Oh, damn, but I died in the making. <laughs> the taking. If I uh, my job to take care of that, and then you, you took care of it both times. Because <laughs> you have the demolitionist. Yeah, what yeah. is going on, Pat? It's okay. I just, I, You're still getting other kills. It's okay. I, I can't even see the trucks. I hear it. Oh, okay, he's over there. Uh, you and one other guy are the only people left. You got 13 seconds. Make it count, soldier. Good God, that's terrifying. You're on the gun. <laughs> you got five seconds. Just hang out. Hang tight. Two, one. Nice. Moving in. I guess they got the gunner. Nice. This map's pretty cool. I, I've never seen this yeah, one. Yeah, like, it's like Storming Castle Wolfenstein. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Another game I want to play. Wolfenstein. Another franchise. Good one. Ex except, you know, the, the co-op game that they released. Yeah, I mean, it's still... What, it's on Game Pass? So I, I or, think it's still on Game Pass. Yeah. I could have sworn I saw it being removed, but I could be wrong. Dude, Actually, it's Bethesda, so no, it's probably still there. I'm still excited for whenever Tiny Tina does come to Steam and it's on sale. Like, that's a game that oh, I yeah, think with, when it's on like f on sale for 30 bucks, I will pick it up probably because of uh, how... Megan, Eric, and Jordan to pick it up too. We're gonna yeah. Make it our, our new thing. I'm ready. I don't expect it to be too long. It's a I side hope it, story. It would so. be nice if they did like six months, but I don't, they might still do one year, unfortunately. Probably. I mean, whatever. Maybe I'll get some new content by then, too. Well, it just come with the DLC by then. Yeah, right. How did That's the one nice thing that happens. Like, I think for now on, like, if a game isn't, um, like, oh, jeez. Got wrecked. Part of me w wish I waited for Hitman 3, but I also loved that game when it came out, so. Oh, no, I, lo I loved Hitman 3. That was, that was the one game. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was worth buying on Epic Games on day one. I wasn't going to get it, but then after seeing so many good reviews and people are like, it's just more Hitman 3, then I was like, oh, fine. Okay, I'll get it. I mean, not I that not that I don't, like, um, by the way, um, creator code Cassis for uh, <laughs> Epic, but... Uh, but yeah, no, nah, not that I don't I don't mind buying games on Epic if it's the only option. But this I is prefer rough on because Steam. Square Enix, right? They made it. Or who was it? Who made Hitman? Hitman? Uh well now it's IO. They IO Interactive. Yeah, they, uh, that's uh, yeah, speaking of Square Enix. Um they thought that the game kept underperforming, so they're like yeah, we're just gonna release your instead of which is surprising. They just released the uh, rights to IO to be able to develop and publish themselves. Yeah, they did that for Hitman 3, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, and then that was like, I'm pretty sure it was the best selling Hitman game, right? Between the two? Probably. Um, it was definitely the highest rated one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's definitely the highest rated one. Um, and I think the thing that kind of like added to it was not having to do the, the like seasons, you know, and that game, oh dude, I keep forgetting, but that free freelancer mode sounds really cool. It's a freelancer. Mode. Um, so later this year, they, they did say summer at first, uh, but later this year, they're going to be dropping freelancer mode which is basically think open world hitman but like 
targets on the go. So you spawn into a map or whatever the case is, and you constantly upgrade your base, but then when you spawn in, you have a new target. And so now you have to go complete that target. Then you go back to your base. You can upgrade it um, and then select the like, next target and kind of go in. And it's like a, like a, it's like a mini Tarkov type thing. You, like you go in, upgrade your hideout, go out. Yeah. Get your target, get the, get the, the money from it. I, be I believe that's how it's going to work. If, if I remember correctly, that's the, I think the plan of it. Um, I, I know it's some sort of open world. Go for. But, yeah. I, I hope they don't do the same maps. Yeah. I've, I've learned those maps inside and out. I, I'm... It might be. Honestly, I, th I think it might be. But I think what's the kind of like main thing is that you have a like an area to go to and like upgrade and all of that. So I think that's what's kind of like going to be the biggest pull. I forget they put a little video out for it, but they didn't like show really a lot of gameplay for it yet. I'm sure they're going to show it at E3, I guess. Or not yeah. E3, Summer, um, Game Fest. <laughs> Summer Game Fest. Yeah. Did yeah, you um time. speaking of Summer Game Fest? Did you hear uh they partnered with IMAX. Yeah, you, you sent a link about that, and like, yeah, can, no, I thought that was the uh, the video game awards. No, no, wait, was it? I thought that was the video game awards. Oh, I, I thought, thought they was... said Summer Game Fest, or was it? I mean, yeah, honestly, right either I'll one. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll look through the text messages. I'll see if I can find it. Okay. And I'll let you know. Okay. I keep wanting to say chat, but I mean, hey, if that comes out, that would be sick. Yeah, good to chat. <laughs> Offline chat. <laughs> By the way, once again, if you guys are enjoying this video, definitely leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Please let me know if you did enjoy this. If you made it all the way through, hey, we're 17 minutes in. So if you made it this far, please let me know. Because um, that, that really shows me that, hey, people are watching this stuff. And... Um, you want more let me know as well because that's how i'm gonna try to start gauging videos um if people are liking it or the views are going up then i will do my best to produce more parts for that series and continue going um if also if you have recommendations let me know just let me know in the comments speak to me talk to me let me know what you're thinking don't like what i'm saying talking too much hey whatever it is any uh feedback is appreciated Actually having some uh, smooth matches right now, surprisingly. In before we get right, I shouldn't have reloaded there. Should be having, uh, at the time of recording this, we should be having some ready or not gameplay coming out soon. If any of you uh, come to this video from any of my previous Ready or Not, um, it's another tactical shooter style game, but more of it. Oh God! Wait, what happened? Oh, good God! Hold on. Uh, Ready or Not's another tactical shooter of mine that I've played in the past. Part one did fairly well. Um, they've added a lot of content since I last played, so hopefully the next uh, week or two I'll be putting out another part. I know some uh, some people are kind of waiting on that. So we'll hopefully be having some stuff coming up soon uh, with me and Soldier Pat. Those games, a lot more tactical thoughts, so probably not... No, we're not going to be talking oh, to Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, not as much uh, rambling. It'll be more of a... All right, check that room. Open the door. Yeah, really. all right clear it, it like honestly because if you i mean in this we have what like 10 people in a squad if we one goes down like we're good but if we're doing duos or even like we go in with a full five-man squad oh baby <laughs> it can still get heated then so we'll see how that goes uh did you look it up at all yeah or? it's both oh really okay 
Honestly, I would, I don't know. I would debate on it, but if it was, if it is by me or by us, technically I potentially would go, but I'm not sure. This year around, I'm, I might actually co-stream it. I might start co-streaming that stuff because it's, it's really, it's good content moments. Cause I was going to ask, are, are you planning on, I'm pretty sure like the Xbox one is on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I work Sunday morning. I was wondering if you're going to co-stream it because I would probably try and ask off on that day so I could just hang out and watch it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, it's honestly stuff that I should be co-streaming. So I think for now on, like when there are events like that, I'm going to try to start doing it. Even though like I have my own people that I watch, I can always go back and watch their VODs or reactions or whatever if, I re if I'm really that interested. So I'm going to try to start doing that, um, especially for summer game fest and things like that. I wouldn't mind doing like a recap of, I know a little bit earlier, you're talking about podcasts. Um, honestly, even going through, he warned me and I didn't listen. Good God. <laughs> I, was in the world. <laughs> I saw that. I literally saw you. That was great. That's all on him. <laughs> Pat, that's all on you. That's a good stream. Um. <laughs> oh, man, I'm in a caps lock. God dang it. What is Go that? Ahead. Oh, C. Okay. Get down. Get down. Oh. Um. What was that? Oh. Even like doing a Saturday, like just recap of like gaming stuff. I don't know. Could poten be potential. I just want to figure, I need to figure out a way of how I would set that up and stuff and like do yeah, it in a, a it's professional a, it's a way. It's a whole new day to dedicate. Yeah. Oh, well, honestly, it's not that bad because like what all I would do is really just like. If I didn't do it on stream, which I honestly, I probably wouldn't because then I can stick to games on stream. Um, even if I recorded it like late Friday night and then posted it on like a Saturday and was like, Hey, what's going on guys? Here's what happened in the week. We've got Xbox buys Ubisoft, man. I am very excited for that. I hope to see more Assassin's Creed games. Uh, more Ghost Recon. Hopefully Ubisoft can do their own thing. Got it. You know, like put like two or three minutes into their thing, and then like, all right. And next up, we've got Activision. They're selling the rights to Call of Duty. I know they've Yo, just been bought okay. too. <laughs> yeah. You wish. Uh, what else? Can, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh. Marvel. Marvel has partnered with. Xbox, they are no longer releasing their Marvel games on PlayStation. They will now be releasing all Marvel exclusive properties on Xbox Game Pass, including 2018's Spider-Man PS4. <laughs> like that um, kind of stuff. Honestly, you, though, you, you just listen most of the stuff that would just never happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that would be possibly likely would be that uh um the xbox thing but who knows hey man this week's mon uh tu tuesday is always like a beefy day for sometimes even monday like a lot of acquisitions recently have been having yeah, it's so weird how these acquisitions have been just flying through yeah like, i'm kind of i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm a little worried yeah i the yeah. one thing that that i think is kind of concerning about it is like uh, and this kind of happens shit I died um this kind of happens with other game or other like i guess entertainment mediums yeah n entertainment but also like just business in general is like so many companies always get acqu acquired for the better or worse um so it's it, i don't know the one thing is like obviously you don't want every single publisher and developer acquired by xbox or microsoft you don't want every single thing acquired by playstation like 
you want to be able to have that freedom of publishing their own stuff or um you know doing ha not having a, a a overhead leader in a way like monopoly. yeah uh, yeah literally a monopoly like that's not good in itself um oh. so that's where yeah i just watched you get wrecked from the guy on the side i didn't realize there's a opening down there um yeah but yeah that makes me worried that's i think that's like kind of the especially if microsoft like i want microsoft to get it get ubisoft but i i also kind of don't yeah you know, they've already got so much the only but... reason i don't mind and i prefer like obviously so many uh, a company owning so many things and owning the entire market is never a good thing but the only reason I don't mind in its current state, like Microsoft buying stuff is obviously because of Game Pass. Like PC Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, if all their games continue to get added, that is such yeah, a good yeah. catalog. It, it, where... it, look, it looks like, it looks consumer friendly, but like but once they get comfortable, I, I'm 99% sure it, it won't be consumer friendly in the end. I'm sure Microsoft will find a way to like nickel yeah. and dime us. That's but where it gets concerning. What I'm, I'm kind of hoping for, like, say, say, you know, hypothetically, Microsoft decides, you know, we have enough bank to, to buy Ubisoft. So Microsoft has what? Bethesda, Activision, and Ubisoft. I think PlayStation will have to be like, you know what, let's go after the indie market. Let's go after the, um, the, yeah. the most popular indie creators and then give them a team. Like just not not a big team, like maybe like a smaller team, not not triple A or anything. Probably more like double A teams, and then have them have them run their own teams to make games. I think that, that that's what they that's what they have to do if they can't get Ubisoft or if Microsoft gets Ubisoft. Yeah, definitely. I I think you know what Which else? I, like good. I'm kind of thinking uh, of right now. Well. Uh, uh real quick so the one good thing is like about this kind of stuff like even the acquisitions is that hopefully this is these are pushing companies to like like it's adding competition it's like okay shit like that's kind of concerning they're getting all these properties what do we have we still have a lot of good stuff but like is that good enough you know, like it, it kind of yeah, like you makes to, them you have to be careful because PlayStation might be getting, might be thinking, well, we have Spider-Man and God of War. Yeah, yeah. we have um, Last of Us. They, we don't need anything. Need yeah, you gotta be careful of that too. Uh, the one nice thing though is if they do, kind of like, if they do have that attitude, they can just be like, hey, well, and, and maybe that might be one of the reasons why they're starting to release their games on PC because they're like, ah, oh, shit, like. They're kind of creeping up now. Honestly, if you look at the grand screen scheme of things, like Microsoft is like a trillion dollar company, I think, and then Sony is literally just like a, a few billion, which is still a lot, like a ton. But Microsoft is giant. Like Microsoft could technically buy Sony overnight for like an absurd amount if they wanted to, but obviously Xbox is a different division than Microsoft. I don't even think the government would allow that, right? Uh, I don't. Is that a thing? No. Like, like the government protects against monopolies, what they're supposed to. So, like. Yes, but I don't know. They could, cause they could have the argument that like, there's other. I don't. I don't know how that would work for video gaming space. I don't know. If if that's, Disney that's like, can buy Marvel, like, then like. I was gonna say if Disney can buy Fox. Yeah yeah if um, if disney can buy like all this stuff like you have to really make a case where there's no other option like even if they owned xbox and playstation like you could still say oh cyber power is a pc company hp is a pc company like technically consoles are a i i think legally i i would consider consoles a you know just a pc 
built differently in legal terms. Obviously, it's very different. That. I mean, it's very similar, but very different. But I don't know if you could argue that, but... I don't think... I mean, honestly, I don't think we could ever see that. Um, yeah, it's, but, just, it's just something to think about. I, I honestly yeah, don't think we would yeah. see that at all. Hey, who knows? Things are crazy out here with these yeah, a true. acquisition season is wild right now. There's so many, there's probably so many things happening right now as we speak that like are going to blow people away. The moment Microsoft bought Activision, everything just mm -hmm. blew out the window. Like we don't know what can happen next. Yes. If, if you told me a year ago that Microsoft, not Microsoft, that Activision was going to be bought, I would have laughed in your face. I'd be like, why, why would they sell? Literally. I mean, they have their own issues. Even, even, <laughs> in the, even with their own issues, I'll be like, why would they sell? Yeah. Why Why would that but, actually happen? But apparently, there, there's some... They, they sold for a reason that I didn't catch, so... Who knows? Yep. Um... You know what I'm, yeah, I'm like, kind of just started thinking of right now is why, and I wonder if there is a plan for it. No, well, two things. So EA or Steam has, uh, Steam has EA Play built into it. Um, I wonder, and it would be interesting to see like, kind of like what the subscriber marks for that um, they don't have EA Play Pro, but they do have EA built into it. I'm Same getting a ton of kills pass. right now. Huh? Same with the Game Pass. Yeah. I wonder if, and I'm pretty sure Xbox or Steam said, like, what if, what if Steam had Game Pass or not even that, what if they didn't do Game Pass and did their own? That would be... Uh, if they, if actually they, they did a good competitor against, uh, the Switch with their Steam Deck. Yes. I I think they they can they they can definitely do a good competitor against Game Pass 100%. Because PlayStation is is behind on that remark, even with whatever they're doing now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely not, not even close. Um, it's still a step, but it's not close to to what Game Pass is. And I'm sure, you know, Steam is thinking about it. I mean, if we're thinking about it, Steam is thinking about it. Yeah, I wonder if it's like, see, the thing is, like, I wish we, we know that there are like 10 million subscribers for Game Pass or whatever the latest number was. But like, is how profitable is it? I wonder. Yeah, like, how many of those is the $1 subscription model and then they quit? Yeah. I'm sure they don't, they don't dis... They don't, you know, take that number away. They, nice. They, they just, they just take the total number of uh, subscribers, whether it's the one dollar to five dollar to or fifteen dollar, whatever it is. Exactly. So how how many of that ten million is the people that just chose the one dollar one? Yeah, that's where it's like I plus like with all the the deals that they dish out. And like games that get added to Game Pass, like I wonder if that's like how profitable that part is of it, too. And, and Steam but definitely has the the. They've got the resources. Cash. Yeah, they got the cash. Yeah. They they can they can do some stuff. Let's not do a night map. What are you voting for? I voted like, for Precinct. I don't know if I ever did that one. I've done Crossing so many times. You want to do another one? It's yeah, I'm down for one more. Um, right, well, I don't know if, if we fail out like if we fail out like twice or whatever, then okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll call it yeah. there, but yeah, just let me know and okay, I'll agree. Um, but yeah, I want. I wonder if that's like kind of in their bucket at all. Like Val Depending. says, they want to make games, but like also like what if they did? Could you imagine that? Like you, especially Just, I could see them coming out too and being like, "Hey, we've got Steam Pass, and it's seven dollars a month, 
for the first like. I don't even think they're they're, they're just gonna match. I feel like, like they have they have the power. They they can match Xbox. They can do ten dollars a month and then do a fifteen dollars a month edition with more games probably. Yes, they they, they have the, they have the power to do that. They can. I think personally, I think that if they were gonna do it, they would come out and just be like try to be like consumer friendly like be like hey we're out we have this now and by the way it's seven dollars it's eight dollars i don't know like just for the sake of doing it to be like hey you can get all these games and we're constantly going to update them and yada 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 for x amount just for the kind of like a not like a F you, but like a, yeah, you we're doing this. Space. Yeah, type thing. So. They, um, mo- most of it's going to be indie games for sure. Yeah. Like, I think Stardew Valley, like that's going to go on there 100%. That, that's a PC only game, I'm pretty sure. It's I also wonder, Xbox. yeah. I also wonder like, how does, like, how does that work? Do they... I think they have to pay the company that made the game to get on to get on Game Pass. Pass. But I also and they, they hope that the uh, the script subscriptions will offset the payment. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I've think I've also heard the kind of like the opposite, where like they go to a company and they're like, "Hey, if we add your game to our Game Pass, if it gets X many downloads, we'll pay you X amount of dollars." I see that too and yeah. then also on top of that they're like apparently I, I i can't tell you like off the top of my head but from like listening to like i think kind of funny they said that there's been a few times where a game did get to add, added to the game pass and then because it was on game pass and also you get like the discount and stuff that the game not only like people played it more but more people bought it because they're like oh when this game gets removed from game pass like i want to own it because i like it so much i think i think that's the case for like more so indie games than like yeah indie games um than big like like, releases it's like it's exposure yeah yeah literally shit there's a guy in the bathroom (laughs) But yeah, I don't know. I would, I would definitely buy that. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't know for PlayStation. Like they're bundling it with their PlayStation Plus, and I play like Call of Duty for Remastered, for Remastered, some from time to time. So I'm I'm just gonna buy the year for PlayStation, so I can play that every now and then. So I'm gonna get their their bundle. Yeah. Or whatever they're doing anyway. But if I was able to get playstation plus on its own i would probably do that honestly it, it the, their version doesn't make me excited and you know what game pass was the same way so maybe in like one to two years time maybe playstation can get enough titles together to make me pay another monthly subscription like xbox did but steam oh man if they do it right it, it, it could be huge Yeah, absolutely. It's like they'll they're... put all their own. Oh wow, they they'll, they'll put all their own games on there. Dota, CS:GO, <laughs> like they'll they'll put every like. I mean, CS:GO is for free anyway, actually. Yeah, but, but I mean, actually, honestly, is like, it Dota two anyway? <laughs> Dota two is free anyway. Too? I think so. Yes, honestly, <laughs> I think they, they both well, are. Well, they they could stop the whole free to play model. I think it would be more for those games eventually. Yeah, I think it would be more. So... Oh my god. That guy just like stopped and shot me instantly. Um happened to me too. I think it would be more so like I don't know. Cause like Valve has their games, but like they're all uh, like old <laughs> and been around for forever, which is fine. Like plenty of people play them by now. I think it would be more if so they still like play well. yeah. um I don't know. I- 
I'd say if you see a Steam, if you see a Steam version of Game Pass, I would expect newer versions of their games, like a newer version of CS:GO. Yeah. A, a newer version, maybe even a Left 4 Dead 3. Like they'll start pumping out games to put into that model. All right, and and more people will get into the subscription model just to pay. Who, who has been waiting for Left 4 Dead 3 since Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, honestly, everyone. Like, but, like, I don't, I really don't know if we're ever going to get those. Like, for whatever reason, even if they did do something like that, it was like, if they were, why haven't they done it already? You know, like, they say they're working on new games, and I'm sure they are, but, like, what? All we've seen is Alexis, right? Yeah, Alex. Alexis, or Alex. Yeah. What the heck? That's all we've seen. Why is Epic Games opening up? Uh, that was weird. Yeah, Val Valve's weird with that kind of stuff. My my Epic Games browser just opened up. In, in game. Or not in game, but like the game opened up in a Epic Games browser. Oh, we might lose this. Yeah. Oh, we lost. Like oh, we lost. Uh, there's still a chance if he can clear out these two guys. There's a chance For these people. Oh god. Oh god. He's not reloading. Oh god. He's not reloading. He's not reloading. Reload Got A lot of ammo Close Dude, Reload <laughs> Oh, it makes me nervous. There you go. Oh, of course, right as oh, he that's, reloads. That's like a 45 round mag, it looks like. Getting so lucky. Yeah. That wasn't me when I died. You saw him? Oh. Nice. Okay, we got it. Nice, dude. <laughs> um, um but yeah freaking steam doing their thing i would love it yeah i'd also like to see ubisoft on on game pass i don't i don't necessarily want them to be bought by microsoft just yet it's kind of scary to me still but i would like to see them do the ea route and have their yes. stuff on. Yeah. Yes. I think honestly that's at the end of the day that would be cool. If they just like partnered with it and was like, hey, the stuff's gonna be there. Cause like Ubisoft Plus is a great oh, Yeah, it's it's great, but I just don't want to pay another subscription for it. It's yes. crazy. Um and I feel like it in that case too, like if they offered that over to uh you know PC players and stuff, like there's a lot of people that haven't played Assassin's Creed game. Oh god, that guy just blew up himself. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people that ha probably haven't played their latest games because um, either they don't want to spend the money or I don't know, whatever their reason might be. But who knows, they might not need it too though. And uh, by the way, for anybody watching this video, this is all like speculation. We're just kind of just chatting this stuff oh, up. No, we're, yeah, it, we're we don't just... believe or know anything, honestly. So, yeah. you, you think I have <laughs> it's just a for the fun of it? A hotline call to what? Phil? What, what's his name at Microsoft? Yeah, Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. You think I have a hotline to Phil Spencer? Yeah, you have another thing coming. This is all speculation. Not only that, but also. I'm sure that if somebody is like was or is or you know whatever was listening to this part I'm sure there's somebody out there who would be like that's never gonna happen that will never hey I'm not saying it ever will I'm just saying like that would be, be cool or this would be interesting or this would be like you know just changes to how things are um yeah it'll, it'll yeah. just be fun to see Ubisoft on uh, Game Pass, yeah, that might be very unlikely. Be cool to see though. That would be cool to talk about. Yeah. I mean, honestly, any of that. 
I don't know if like the to the steam thing. I don't know if there's like any reason Valve would ever do one either. Like, do they, yeah, obviously they don't need to. Yeah, that's you know? a good place. But it would be. I I think. What I think would be really ben beneficial though, or really dope of them to do, would be it say if they came out with the game pass, but like all, I just lit up like six people and somehow didn't get shot at all. Um, and they all just spawned. I literally spawn camped them. Uh, the one thing that would be dope is if they had like an indie pass where if they they partnered or they're like, hey, can we add your game to all this thing if we do and X many people play it, we'll pay you X amount of dollars. Or if you want to opt out, feel free. You don't have to, you know, if you don't want people to play it as part of this, then you don't have to. Yeah, and you can just do your own thing. Like that's, doing that's that, dope. I think it would be dope just for like yeah, that supporting. Would be, yeah, that would be, that would be cool. But I, they're definitely going to put that in contract. They're definitely gonna put those indie devs in contracts. And you know what? I think I think it might be predatory. I don't know. I for whatever reason, like I just feel like I mean companies are gonna do whatever's in the best interest for their themselves. Like but Valve as a whole and like Gabe Newall since he runs it like obviously he's a billionaire like whatever he doesn't care about any of us but at the same time he kind of has some sort of like or he's shown the PC community that he just wants people to have like cool games and cool tech and stuff so I feel like if he's at the head of it and it's not like any shareholders or anything that potentially he could do dope things that not only would like be beneficial but also like money wise but also damn i believe that guy's head off <laughs> um you know that no i, I see mean what you're saying. not every not every ceo or owner of the company goes out handing it steam decks hand delivering steam decks to people that pre-order them Wait, did he do that yes oh, he, i didn't see that he literally yeah there's a there's a, like uh you should either look up the video or i can find it and send it to you but yeah he literally and he was in seattle or whatever i think that's where like their um might be where their company is based out of or headquarters but when steam decks released he like talk to there's a video of him in a uh in a van with this lady and he's like so yeah uh you guys might be wondering why i'm here i'm here because uh i asked my team for a list of whoever pre-ordered a um a steam deck and asked if we could personally deliver them to them signed and everything and they're like okay so literally all they did was like they messaged the people and were like hey uh we have somebody that wants to personally deliver your your thing would you mind if we come by with like a team uh camera crew to like record it for like documentation or whatever the case is and advertisement yeah so he literally did it like he went to like probably four or five uh houses at least in the recording that it's just him walking up to the door like hey so uh you pre-ordered a steam deck here it is uh i hope you enjoy it like it, it's really cool we're really happy about it and then they're like some of them are like holy shit you're gabe newall what the hell <laughs> and then some of them are like who are you, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> like not even kidding he, it's funny he, he's yeah. just wearing like a polo um He's just doing his own thing. Yeah, so it, it, it was a cool video. It's like a quick like five minute video, but it's just like him walking up to people, like having conversation be like, yeah, we're really proud of this. Like, it's really cool. Um, I hope you like it. Here's my, good God. Here's my Steam Deck and here's it signed. There was one I remember um, 
where some guy's girlfriend answers the door. And she's like, oh, he's not home right now, but thank you. And he probably <laughs> went back and watched a video. It was like, holy shit, you met Gabe Newall? <laughs> you met the man, the myth, the legend? Yeah. And I wasn't home? <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, obviously, at the end of the day, trying to make as much money, but I feel like if they were to do something, they potentially could do something right about it. But who knows? Yeah. All speculation. I, I, I also kind of want to buy a Steam Deck, too. Yeah, dude, same. It's just, it's, it's at a, such a, you know, you're on a, such a big wait list. I'm just kind of waiting until I can buy it. Yeah. Get it, but then I, Damn, Pat. Oh, Most yeah, enemies I, with assault rifle or battle rifle with at least 30 kills. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of destroyed that match. <laughs> Goddamn. It said I got 30, but I got 38 kills. I guess 8 kills were grenades. Damn. And I think that right there is probably a good point. Yeah, it's yeah. 11.47 p.m. Eastern time for us. Yeah. Um, one sec, I'm going to do this outro real quick. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you did enjoy this video, uh, and if you did watch all the way through, please let it leave a comment. We're 52 minutes into it just about. So I'm curious if anybody actually makes it all the way here. Um, and if you, like I said, if you enjoyed it, leave the like subscribe, let me know. Um, and we'll do our best to, you know, try to push out some more. I can always come on and record some more footage, just chat, and maybe take it more seriously. I don't know, <laughs> but no, whatever. No. Patty would love to play some more too, please. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.